Welcome back everybody. Today we're going over another light from Through Night. This one here is the Catapult V5. Many of you are probably familiar with the V3. I have no idea what happened to the V4. But what we're going to do first off is uh, compare the beam shot to a couple other lights out there on the market. So without further ado, let's step outside. Here you see the Through Night on low. Still pretty bright. You can see a nice bright hot spot. And you can see the spill over there lighting up my shed. Now we'll get cranking through the modes here. See just how much brighter it gets. I mean, that's like daylight out there within the cone of that beam. So very, very bright. First light we'll show you here is the Enforce APL. And there's your APL over there lighting up the shed. You can see, I mean, it does plenty. You'd be able to identify threats and all that, um, or dogs that are walking across the bottom. There he is lit up by the Enforce and then by the through night. Big difference. But you could light up threats with either one. But there's no doubt about it, you're seriously putting out a lot more output, uh, especially peak candela here with this through night. Here's the old standard polytech. You can see it lighting up the shed over here. Again, doing a good job. That shed's about 25 meters away, 25 yards away. It's not like it's right up close. And out there at the corner of those brushes right here, it's about 45, 45 meters away. And you could certainly see someone if they were in there. You'd be able to do that. Now, with through night, even on low, you're probably a little bit better able to do that. You're giving up a little bit of spill to the Polytech, but that hot spot's still going to be hotter. And once you start cranking it up, it definitely outshines it. And this, the, over here on the shed will be the Polytech, and over there on the fence, and on my dog, if you guys can still see him. But uh, yeah, no doubt about it, this thing is leaps and bounds brighter. Let's see if we can get my other dog on camera. Let's see, let's see, he's walking out there. There he is, the bottom of the screen. Colt. Oh, there he is. And Glock. That's their names, Colt and Glock, by the way, if you guys aren't familiar with those two guys. From the factory, the light comes with this holster. It's a belt holster for those of you guys that want to carry it in that. It also comes with the uh, extra O-rings lanyard and the user manual instruction manual uh, whatever you want to refer to it as and the light it does not come with the batteries just for those of you guys wondering uh, checking it out out front you'll see down in the middle of that deep reflector there is a Cree XM L2 U2 emitter and combine it with the uh, anti-reflective coated glass there as well as the smooth deep reflector you're gonna get some serious thrill which is what you guys just saw out there now uh, along with that the peak candela on this light is 105,400 peak candela uh, with 1500 lumens so the lumens aren't as bright as some of the other lights that through night puts out but when you combine it with that reflector you're going to get very high peak candela which is exactly what you guys just saw out there in terms of the user interface basic interface there is no tail cap button so the user interface is all right up front here uh, on off switch is just the back one here as you see it and that is out there on high mobile. We'll turn it down so the camera doesn't freak out quite as much during the video. Um, and to adjust the brightness, as you just saw, you hit the button up front and you can toggle through the different modes. And uh, a few other things to point out. Once you turn it off, it does have memory, so it, it will remember the last mode it was in when you turn it off. So if you're one of those guys that wants to use it for defensive reasons or for searching, you can just leave it on high, set it off, and it'll come back on high. A couple interesting things about this is that it also has a strobe mode and you can turn it on by just either momentarily hitting this button right here up front for temporary and you can also just press and hold it and if you hold it for three seconds or longer it will stay on until you hit it off now there is no mode memory you'll notice it does have a uh, variable strobe up front so it's not predictable and um, to turn it off you just hit the back button and when it comes back on, it does not come on in strobe mode. So just something to keep in mind there. Very nice feature in my opinion. The light itself does not have an actual off switch, like an on-off switch. However, it does have a lockout mode. And the way you operate that is by hitting this back button here. You just press and hold it. If you hold it for six seconds, you'll see the light will blink. And then to unlock at this point, the buttons don't do anything. And then to unlock it, you just want to press and hold it again for another six seconds. Hopefully I'll wait long enough in this video and not screw it up. And then at that point, yep, it'll come right back on. So that's how you lock the light out, and that is the basic operation of the light. 
the output's generated by two 18650 batteries, which we'll show you here. There is an option for an extension on this that'll actually extend it out, so it'll accept three uh, 18650 batteries, but as it comes, it does accept two. And for those of you guys that have the old version three, or the V3 of this light, those do not work. Um, the extensions do not work on this light as well. So that's the light broken down. You'll notice it is O-ring sealed front and back, so that way it does provide uh, waterproof capabilities for the light and uh, putting it back together, very simple as well. The diffuser for the light kind of reminds me a lot of the old like late 90s, early 2000s Surefire diffusers. It's very rugged, very solid, as is the rest of the light, which we'll show you here in a minute. But to put it on, you just hit this little uh, release button here, and it'll open it up, and open this clamping piece up, kind of insert it, and just wiggle it down. Once you get it down there seated, tighten down the clamp, and uh, if you want to use it in diffuser mode, you can do that, just tighten it down. And at that point, you're gonna have less of a hot spot and it will diffuse the light for a lot more spill. But at any time, you can quickly open it up if you want that throw. So that's the general overview of the light, but Through Night markets this as sort of like a defensive, tough, rugged light. So what we're gonna do now is actually step outside and test and see just how rugged this thing is. We're gonna do a few drop tests and uh, see how it holds up. As you just saw, it's a pretty durable light. Holds up well to those drop tests. A few nicks, dings here and there, but the output's still going. And when you think of the kind of output that you're getting with this light, paired with the price point, uh, it comes to market right at $150, give or take, depending on where you buy it here in the US. Um, you're getting a very high quality, all aluminum, nice light that's gonna have good gripping surface. Like I said, it could be used as a defensive weapon for sure, for those of you guys that live in uh, restrictive or non-permissive environments where you can't carry other things. Because uh, I know I do have a lot of folks watching me all around the world that don't have the liberties that we have here in the U.S. So if that's you, it may be another uh, pro to add to the list for this light. But if you guys have any questions about this light or anything else to talk about here on the channel, you can always post below in the comment section. You can also post over on my Facebook page. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I hope to see you in the next video.